So we are standing by for that egress. Outside of Dragon, you do see one of those stretchers. This is the expected procedure as the crew will be taken to medical facilities following their exit from Dragon. We can see folks on board clapping as our first crew member. And that is NASA astronaut Nick Haig, commander of Crew 9. Now out of Crew Dragon Freedom. Some smiles, thumbs up, and a wave. Can't get any better than that. Yeah, that is one happy camper, that's for sure. As we said before, it is standard procedure for all of our long duration crew members to receive assistance upon egressing from the spacecraft. We uh, basically help them move off of the recovery deck and into the private medical quarters for their uh, initial consultation with the SpaceX flight surgeon. So we'll see that take place for all four of our crew members today. And we are standing by for the next crew member to exit Freedom. Next up out of the capsule, we expect Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov, his first space flight. Spent 171 days in space alongside NASA astronaut Nick Haig. Looks like we're getting some cheers and clapping on board as Alexander is slid down the little ramp and placed into the mobility aid. Again, big smile. <laughs> now, the two crew members remaining in Dragon are NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore. They completed 286 days in space. One of the remaining footrests being removed from the Dragon spacecraft. As I said before, we generally uh, try to have the crew members that are located in the two center seats aboard Dragon. And we like to have them egress first if possible, as it creates a little bit more movable working room inside the, inside the spacecraft. There is a recovery crew member inside that is helping all of our, um, all of our Crew 9 crew egress or exit from the spacecraft.
We're waiting for Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore after 286 days in space. Uh, you have to give credit to Elon Musk and SpaceX. Elon, by the way, as you can see on the screen, is going to be on Sean Hannity's show tonight, 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, and uh, go over this. Uh, this he did offer uh, to put this effort into place. Uh, it was talked about, as I mentioned, really in the joint address to Congress. Homer, this, uh, this is a big yeah, deal as uh, these next astronauts come out. You know, just five years ago. When yeah, we um, Brad, for sure, uh, never bet against Elon Musk. I've known Elon for over 20 years, and um, he always comes through on the end. Where, as he says, at least it's going to be entertaining. But um, I talked to Chris Sembrowski today, who flew aboard the uh, Inspiration 4, uh, which was a Dragon spacecraft. He was not a professional astronaut. He said that that capsule uh, was very, very friendly to him. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm not only a writer, but also a publisher, and we're going to be publishing Chris's uh, memoir to be called The Accidental Astronaut coming out this fall. So it's a very exciting time. This is the golden age of space flight. We're going back to the moon. Let's listen in. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members, now uh, will be assisted onto the mobility aid. There we have it, some waves, some thumbs up, and some smiles. Definitely seems to be a theme among all recovery operations. Absolutely. And of course, that leaves NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore inside Dragon in seat four. We're getting some views of him now as he egresses or exits the spacecraft. Once again, some elation and cheers there from Butch Wilmore. As we mentioned before, returning to Earth from coming from a microgravity environment can wreak havoc on the body. So it is customary uh, and just standard procedure for all of our long-term space residents to uh, get assistance once they are back on board the recovery vessel. Well, now that Nick, Butch, Sonny, and Alexander are safely back home on Earth and getting checked out by the NASA medical team, we're going to wrap up our live coverage of their return. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.